CBS's morning partners with the professional networking site LinkedIn for our continuing series, Work in Progress. We explore the future of jobs and the issues facing the American workforce. This morning, we're looking at the growing shortage of truck drivers. More than 70% of the goods we consume are carried on the nation's highways. A new report says the industry needs to hire roughly 90,000 new truckers each year to keep up with demand. Chris Van Cleve shows us why so many of those jobs are unfilled and how it would drive up cost for you. The American trucker carries our country. Nothing we get isn't touched by a truck. They say truckers drive the American economy. If that's the case, we could be in trouble. 50,000 more drivers are needed by the end of 2017, and that number could more than triple in 10 years. When we're buying more stuff out there, whether that's cars, refrigerators, you name it, we're putting that in trucks, and that's going to exacerbate the shortage that we have. Bob Costello is the chief economist for the industry trade group American Trucking Associations. Once we hit that 100,000 mark, I think that's where we start to see uh, problems throughout the economy. Problems like product shortages, delivery delays, and higher prices. Demographics are largely behind the shortfall, but the lifestyle, including extended periods away from home, can also be a major deterrent. There's a sense that people just don't want to be truck drivers. Why do you think that is? It's a hard life. I mean, you know, I got a 36 inch box that I'm sleeping in in the back of my truck most nights. You know, I get hotels from time to time, but you've got to want to do it. You know, you've got to want to be able to travel, go different places, see different things, and, you know, deal with different people every day. Iowa 80 doesn't typically allow recruiters here at the truck stop because they fear it would turn into a bit of a frenzy. Instead, once a year, they hold a trucker's jamboree where recruiters are allowed to come in. This year, more than 44,000 people attended. Fleets are raising wages and offering incentives to attract drivers. We found rail recruiter Greg Keppel at the Great American Truck Show in Dallas. The employment market for truck drivers is what I would call hyper competitive, and we feel it every day. We always say uh, yesterday was our easiest day. His company hopes to attract new drivers, including millennials, by paying them to get a commercial driver's license and complete on the job training. For CBS This Morning, Chris Van Cleve, Walcott, Iowa. I think there will always be a need for truck drivers. One truck driver told me this once, I've never forgotten it. When you look around your room and your house and your job, there's nothing in this place that didn't get here without a truck. Yeah, they without a truck driver at some point. As they so. say, essential to our economy. That's right.